go see Cam Toga. I forgot that I love the music in the camp. All right, it's getting a little messed up by uh, what should we call it? Yeah. By net play, but I love this. This is maybe my favorite track in the game. Mhm. Mm ah, you made it. Took you long enough. Though maybe you thought maybe you'd gone limping home with your tail between your legs. This is the entrance to my quarters. Nothing special, just a small cave we remodeled. Let's continue this inside. What? You want to know who those guys outside are? They're just a bunch of rough and tumble fellas I recruited to protect the Kaio system from the crawl. I suppose if we had a name, we'd be the Camtoga Patrol. That's not half bad. We wanted to ask you something, Camtoga. You see, we're looking for this thing called a shard. Like a shard of what? You realize <laughs> the word shard is very general and applies to many things, right? Yeah, right? It's shard of the Beast King, you know? Maybe you've heard of it. Legendary, spe le legendary beast that was supposedly woke up and uh, did battle with a big giant problem that happened. <laughs> Yeah, and we figured someone like you could point us in the right direction. Any ruins on this planet? That would be the ice ruins you're referring to. Okay, so there's only one set of ruins on this planet then, right? Or are there like the frozen ruins, the snow ruins, the kind of chilly ruins? Or did you just blow the ice ruin thing on the only ruin that exists? Legend says a shard rests there. It's on the other side of the glacier opposite our camp. Oh, how convenient. Great, lead the way. Sorry, can't do that for you. Why not? Lots of reasons, but mostly because it's extremely dangerous, since you ask. Dangerous for me, you mean, but you saw me thump that crawl. Yeah, I had a front row seat to the action, remember? Enough already! Just tell us where the ruins are! Here's the point. Courage is in courage if it's heedless. And if you can't understand that, well, all the more reason for me not to tell you where the ruins are. <sighs> Whatever, we'll just find it ourselves. Let's go, Gina. Wait, Rowan! Sorry, he means well. He's just sort of bullheaded sometimes. Yep, I know the type. How tall is Camtoga? I don't know. He's giant. Mm-hmm. No, wait, Rollin! How do you plan on finding the ruins without Camp Toga's help? He already told us it's on the other side of the glacier, and the ruins must be big. It actually doesn't sound that difficult. Who needs them? It was a mistake to ask him for help in the first place. Now, let's see. We hit a dead end last time, so... Hmm. I know. Let's try that other trail that runs alongside Camp Toga's cave. To the ice ruins, away! Nothing could possibly go wrong here. Mm-hmm. Glacier Valley. The Valley of the Glaciers that they spoke of in the ancient text. My... Ooh, Ooh, we that's can what it get uh, tier two crystals already. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good job, Zenny. I knew you could do it. Crush has got our back. No, wait! All my minerals! No! Well, a lot of murder to get on here. I'm still using murder. the axe, but I guess I'm gonna live with this until we get legendary weapons in a little bit. Hey, walk into this. Stole my kill. My goodness, I do not like the axes unless they're a double swing. This thing is so hard to hit. There we go. I wonder if there's actually like some auto aim with lock on that I'm missing because you can't do that in two player. Maybe. Ba -da -ba -ba. 
Look at all these yellow minerals. I don't know how I feel about all the yellow minerals being in the snowy place. I feel like this is a cautionary tale. They're everywhere. I think we should have a cutscene, like, right over here. Oh, there's a, uh, Pegatinum thing. Hey! Rollin, I don't know about this route. Don't worry about it. Look, we're almost there. Anyway, I'm not turning back just to hear Camtoga say I told you so. Oh, man, Rollin, look, please don't make this an ego thing. He knows the risks. He's just trying to help. Right. Oh, come on, grow up! Uh oh. Nice direct route there, partner. Hey, don't scare me like that. I was really worried about you. <sighs> my bad, sorry. And? And Camtoga might have sort of had a point. I may be in over my head. A bit. Huh? You all right? Let me check your head. Yeah, yeah, I know. Humility's still on my to-do list. I'm just teasing. You can take it, right? In Rollins' defense, Camtoga was a bit of unnecessarily a dick about it. Mm hmm. See, we should have stuck with Camtoga, but no. You had to go on one of your ego trips. Yeah, you're right. Whoa. That's not like you'd own up so easy. Too bad you didn't realize that in the first place. Anyway, it doesn't look like we're going back the way we came. Let's find another way out of here. Not nah, easy. Just, uh, Rollin pulls out his Shika slate from Breath of the Wild and rewinds it or whatever. Easy. Or no, 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 the ghost arm from Tears of the Kingdom, whichever one it is. Mm-hmm. Hey, snap to it, Rollin. After all, you're the one who got us into this mess. Yeah, let me just get to work on climbing this sheer ice wall, Gina. I'm on it. Escape from the crevasse. I will say that, like, looking at Gina's attire, I'm like, it seems like it'd be really cold. <laughs> oh, look, it's one of your favorites. Ooh! Ookabee! Another glowing fossil! So you see, only because Rollin was so bullheaded did we find this mythical fossil with flashbacks in it. So it was all for the good in the end. I bet we'll see another vision when we touch it. How does Gina see the vision if only Rollin touches it, though? Couldn't make the cutscene to include her. Kemtoga! Wake up! Kemtoga! Can you hear me? Come on. Stay with me! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Guess I really screwed up this time. Don't exert yourself. Now, listen up. You gotta learn to rein it in. <sighs> Sorry. How very specific to the current scenario going on with Rollin that we got this flashback. Mm-hmm. Ukabi. Ukabi! See, when you take stupid risks, you put your partner at risk, too. Cam Toga was just trying to stop you from making the same mistake he did. The mistake of wearing a t-shirt out in a blizzard? 
Then why didn't you come out and say it in the first place? I don't get old people with all their lesson teaching stuff. Even if he did, would you have really listened? Hello down there! I've been looking all over for you two. Hang on, I'll get you out of there. Yo, use the electromagnetic grappling hook! Thank you, really. I mean it. You saved our lives. And I was a total jerk before. I apologize. Oh, well, uh, forget it. Never happened, all right? But it did, and so did this, and I'll try to learn from it. I may be a spectrobe master, but I need to master myself. Mm, that ain't exactly easy, but realizing you got a problem, that's half the answer. End of the day, teamwork's our best hope for getting rid of these monsters. We gotta train ourselves to develop an instinct for it. It takes time, and the whole thing's gotta start with investing all you got in the one closest to you, your partner. And I'm talking from experience. I had a bond like that once. What do you mean, had it once? What happened? He is no more. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Let's get some grub, then get to it. Yes, sir. You took a vacation to the Bahamas, never came back. <laughs> yep. I love this music. So you saw a vision from my past, eh? I was so young back then, I thought I was so strong and I knew no fear. Soon after I started working with my partner, he tried to stop me from battling Crawl on my own. How convenient that you never mention your partner by name. But I wouldn't listen. I thought I had what it takes to go at it alone. But the crawl ended up being a lot stronger than I thought. I ended up getting knocked flat on my face. When I came to my senses, I found myself in my partner's arms. I was relieved to be alive, but kind of humiliated. Come to think of it, that was the first and last time I ever saw my partner get emotional. Haha, <laughs> it's gonna be hard for me to lecture you now that you saw me like that. No, Camtoga. After seeing that, I know exactly what you were saying before. Please forgive me. Now, do you think you could tell us how to get to the ice ruins? Please? Well, now, you're sure becoming all nice and polite all of a sudden. Hey, cut me some slack, will you? This kind of stuff isn't easy for a guy like me. Haha, <laughs> I know the feeling all too well. Now, listen to me, you two. The crawler are a tough foe. It's gonna take teamwork in order to defeat them. I myself had a couple of brothers in arms. In fact, I'd call them good friends. But one of them... Ugh. I made a vow? <laughs> I made a vow that day. I'd do whatever it takes to keep my friends from harm. Kemtoga. Anyway, that's enough talk about tears and feelings to last me a lifetime. Oh, and before I forget, this is for you. The blaster. Yeah, lame. Zappers are pretty cool, though. This looks like a weapons cube for the Cosmolink. A blaster mode cube, to be exact. Gives you a long distance attack, though it's a little weaker than other weapons. You're the best. Wait, don't thank me yet. I got something else for you. Something else? Yeah, but I can't just hand it over to you like that. Oh, come on. Now you gotta got me all excited. Don't hold out on us like that. Haha, <laughs> relax, relax. You'll get it soon enough, but first you'll have to pass a little test. A test? Yeah, I need you to prove you've become a full-fledged Spectrobe master. So here's what you gotta do. Fill that Cosmo Link of yours to the brim with Spectrobes, then come and show me. Fill it up, as in six adult forms and or evolved forms to use in battles, and three child forms for searching? Did sh did uh, Gino really say and slash or out loud? Eh. Exactly. Put them in all the slots in your Cosmo Link, then come show it to me. Then you'll finally see me as full-fledged Spectro Master? Okay, we'll do it. Let's get started, Gina. Uh, done? Yeah, done. Ah, you're back! <laughs> Did you get all the Spectrobes like I told you to? Yeah, Let's see, see we found it already. <laughs> yep, all the Cosmo Link slots are filled. Nice job. Well, there's one in the search thing that isn't filled, but that's because it's special. You're more than qualified to be the new Spectro Master of the Kaio system. This is for you. Go ahead, you definitely earned it. Ah, oh, the Cosmo Key, let's go. Thanks, but what is it? Why, that's the one and only Cosmo Key. It's proof that you are a, spectro a true Spectro Master. 
Each generation of Spectro Master here in the Kyo system carries it, including that former partner of mine. Okay, but what about back when there were like a thousand of you? There probably were a thousand of the keys. They just Well then how is there only one lost. left? Because the other the others were lost. How I mean, where? have you seen Where were they have lost? You seen what, have you seen maybe the desert planet? I mean, there's a lot of sand. You can bury a they, lot of them they, there. They mine on that planet constantly. Eh. Somebody's got a stockpile somewhere. <laughs> Then this must be one of your treasured keeps keepsakes. How could we possibly accept it? Easily, dibs. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. The Cosmo Key belongs in the hands of a Spectro Master, plain and simple. And you two more than fit the bill. Wow, thanks, Camtoga. I'll carry it proudly and make sure to take good care of it. Yeah, see that you do. Oh, and by the way, it also gives its rightful bearer a new power. A new power? That's right. You ever seen those ancient stone markers scattered around the Kaio system? Well, sealed within those are legendary weapons that only Spectro Masters can wield. Legendary weapons? I like the sound of that. Hey, let me finish. It's the Cosmo Key that will allow you to get the weapon. The Crawler only getting stronger, so you better go get a legendary weapon or two before you go into the ruins. But you gotta find a stone marker first. I'd get started right now if I were you. Once you got a legendary weapon in your hand, I'll tell you where the ice ruins are. Get a legendary right. weapon. Oh, we're, we're gonna go get, like, a bunch of legendary weapons before we go any further. Sounds good. Go pick all of them up from... All of them that we can reach without Pegatinum, at least, from Weterra and Doldogo. Sounds good. Uh, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick, but I'll be okay. right back. Don't get lost. Press something on your keyboard before you go so your controller doesn't go to sleep. Oh, right. Well, chat, while Jet is gone, here's hoping we don't run into any forced combat. Watera, away! K-Blue, welcome to stream. What game is this? This is Spectrobe's Origins, released on the Nintendo Wii in 2009. Sadly, the last of its kind. Spectrobes deserves a resurgence. But Disney will never give it it. Oh, now we can hear the stone markers when we're close to them. Bum, bum. Come on. All right, oh. I'm back. Oh, that was fast. Yep. I haven't even opened the first marker yet. This one should be the sheep sword. Cheap sword. <laughs> Which is very useful for the planet we're on. I love the legendary weapon designs in this game. Yagi sword. Jet? Yeah. Oh, oops. It's a legendary weapon. Cam Toga said they contain the power of the evolved form spectrobes. The ancient Spectro Masters must have left this marker here for people like us. Yeah, they must have foreseen that future generations would someday face the same crisis they did. Wow, so I guess we're the first to wield this weapon since ancient times. Those crawl are in for it now. It's now our turn to protect the Kyo system, just like the ancient Spectro Masters back in their time. Let's go tell Cam Toga that we found a new weapon. Okay, Ikazang. Uh, no, we're gonna get like eight more and then we'll go tell him? Yeah, we're gonna get all the weapons we can without Pegatinum. <laughs> I, you know what? This is gonna take a while to do all this running around. Good opportunity to say that Legendary Weapons is probably the smartest idea they've had in this franchise. Mm hmm. Having unique it, it weapons. Unique elemental weapons based on the evolved forms of the Spectrobes and thus looking like the Spectrobes was mm -hmm. genius and really cool because it's really awesome to have a really coolly designed Spectrobe and then also get a weapon that looks like it. Yeah. It is just a really brilliant concept. We've got like four of them to get over this way and then there's one over at the excavation site as well. Now we can hear them making this noise whenever we're close to them. 
I don't remember whose weapon is in here. It might be Koma Inu's. I think Koma Inu's is a blaster? Or was it Leozar? Leozar is a zapper. It's the laser beam gun. Mm-hmm. I don't think this is Leo's, though. It might be. Did he give you a zapper that early? That's Komodoros or Leo. Oh, no, it's oh, Zaza. It's, it's Zaza's sword. Oh, it's Zaza. Zaza's mural thing does not look very much like Zaza. <laughs> we got a new weapon. Yeah, that did not look like Zaza at all. I can't wait to try it out. Bum, bum. Gonna use all of the swords. <laughs> I know where like all the legendary weapons are, chat. You don't need to tell us where they are or which ones they are. I like to try to remember which one is which when I get to them. The next one is the Dave Axe. I have this one memorized for sure. And I think it's Zenny's Lance in the uh, where the boss was. Might be. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, because I think there was definitely a water thing somewhere. 